Hello, welcome once again to Moorgate Andrology. And today I want to talk about uh, the surgical options for Peroni's disease. You know, I get asked uh, a lot from patients about the different options available at Moorgate Andrology. We get a lot of inquiries about uh, treatment for Peroni's disease. And in many cases, we get inquiries from guys when they've already been to the NHS and they've been offered a procedure called the Nesbitt procedure. Now, the Nesbitt procedure will straighten your penis. There's no doubt about that. It will do it. But the the downfall, perhaps, of the Nesbitt is that it leaves the penis considerably shorter by up to one and a half inches. And obviously, that's that's not a very attractive option for many men. So when it comes to... Uh, Peroni's disease uh, surgery options, then uh, there is more than one, thankfully. The procedure that we use at Morgate Andrology is something called plaque incision and grafting, which is carried out by one of our specialist urologists. Now, there are not many urologists in the world that can carry out this particular procedure, but the beauty of this one is that it does protect the length of your penis. So whereas the Nesbitt shortens the penis, plaque incision and grafting is all about protecting your penis length. Now, when it comes to Peroni's disease, uh, many men uh, can actually remember the incident when uh, their Peroni's disease happened. And usually it's, it's caused by uh, a sudden bending of the penis in the erect position. So typically guys remember perhaps a sexual encounter when the penis was inadvertently bent, maybe against the partner's bone. And uh, this causes a, a, a sharp bending and sometimes they can hear a, a cracking as the uh, corporal bodies of the penis fracture. And then after that, uh, you know, the patients get uh, pain. They notice pain at first on erection and eventually they start to see this curvature. Now, this curvature is nearly always in, uh, upwards. It might be bent slightly to one side, uh, but the curvature is upwards. And it, and it can continue for several months. Now, it's important when you're considering Peroni's disease surgery that the surgery doesn't happen too soon. Uh, our urologists will want to see at least three months with no change to the uh, to the bending of the penis. It must be in a stable situation and also that you have uh, no pain. But the pain tends to last uh, probably a, a matter of uh, two, three months and then uh, that tends to go away. So in Peroni's disease surgery with the Nesbitt, the, the surgery is on the longer side of the penis. This is what makes it uh, shorter because they operate on the longer side. But in plaque incision and grafting, we're operating on the shorter side. And what happens is uh, incisions are made at the site of the plaque or the scar tissue and the penis is opened up to make it straight again. But this leaves a hole in the middle where uh, the penis was opened up and in there is put a um, is put a, a graft and this graft fills the hole now not only does it fill the hole but this graft acts as a scaffold or a matrix for new um, collagen tissue to form and eventually the graft is replaced by this matrix of new collagen and and and, and uh, tissues and this helps to protect the length of the penis because we haven't operated on the longer side. We focused on the shorter side. Now, the procedure itself takes about uh, one hour and a half uh, and it's done under general anaesthetic. And in most cases, you can go home the same day. It's important to uh, rest for a few days after the surgery and avoid any sexual activity for about six weeks until things are properly healed. So plaque incision and grafting 
is becoming a very, very popular uh, procedure for guys who want to straighten their penis, but also protect its length. Now, if you want to find out more about plaque incision and grafting surgery, then do contact us here at Morgate Andrology. We're happy to give you more information. And we also offer a completely free WhatsApp video consultation with our urologist that carries out this procedure. And that enables you to get all the information about the surgery. Um, you're going to have a chat directly to the urologist, ask him any questions that you have about the procedure. And that's entirely free. Well, that's all from me today. I hope that's given you a little insight into the surgical options for Peroni's disease. Until next time, I look forward to seeing you then. Bye for now.